In today's video, we're opening the holy grail of Yu-Gi-Oh boxes, first edition, Legend of Blue Eyes. What's up guys, we are back with our final day of the 11 days of Yu-Gi-Oh. I hope you guys have enjoyed this. We're putting every video from the 11 days of Yu-Gi-Oh in a playlist. So if you wanna watch them, just go check out the playlist on the screen and you can watch all the boxes we've already posted. It's gonna be pretty awesome. This is an amazing opening. My third time ever opening a full booster box, technically four, cause I opened an open box one time, but this is the only the third time opening a sealed booster box of Legend of Blue Eyes. This is a pretty amazing opening. They don't happen every day, even nowadays with them being a lot cheaper than they used to be. Still super hard to get a hold of and still super risky to open up. So I don't want to make you guys wait any longer. This is an exciting opening. Let's get to it. All right, guys, you know what time it is. It's big boy time. First edition LOB. Let's cut this thing open. Blue Eyes White. This is a very expensive box, guys. I've not opened one of these in like over two years, almost three years. Here we go. Oh, this hurts. This hurts so much. There we go. All right, LOB has been opened, guys. No GI Joe, yeah, pray for no weirdness with the box for sure. Here's the big moment. Okay, okay, LOB packs, LOB packs. Okay, looks okay from what I can tell so far. Okay, don't see anything sketchy right now. All right, here we go. It's time, everybody. Retro starting us off, first pack. This should be a, uh, I believe it's a Trihorn box. I believe it's a Trihorn box. They're a little bit harder to tell in the LOB. Okay, LOB, retro. I'm gonna try to keep them nice because they are, they have some value to them even though they are em empty packs. One, two, three, four, first pack. We got an upside down card. Is that a sign or is that not a sign? I don't know. I don't know if it is. We have Ray and Tipatuda. Dragon Trick, look at these first eds. These are insane. Oh, the box looks legit. That's that's a great sign. Trihorn box, so there's two different secrets. It can either be Trihorn or Gaia. Um, it depends on the box. Fire Yaru. Succubus Knight. We got to be a little slower with these. Lesser Dragon. Oh my gosh. LOB first ed, guys. A full box. Misaki. This is insane. In Warrior Numero Uno. Got that error. Classic error. Mountain. Will it, it was upside down. Will it be something? Is this going to be the foil? I think it is. Blue Eyes White Dragon. It's a Trihorn box, secret rare right off the bat. Oh, Retro Baloney, congrats on the pull. Oh my, what is up with me and pulling Trihorns right out of the box? What is up with that? <laughs> it happens again. Oh, and I don't have a sleeve ready, of course, because somehow I ran out of sleeves. Okay, I can set it right there. Okay, uh, where are my sleeves? I ran out of sleeves at the worst time. Unbelievable. Me and Trihorn. It's not crimp this time, but it is Trihorn. That's insane. That looks absolutely incredible. Oh my goodness. Wow. That is amazing. Congrats, first pack magic. First pack magic, got the secret. Hope you guys are enjoying this insane holy grail opening, but we have a giveaway. I'm giving away a 25th anniversary Legend of Blue Eyes box. Just like the video, be subscribed, turn on notifications. Let me know what you think about this amazing LOB box. And what was the best box we opened up in the 11 days of Yu-Gi-Oh? Wow, next pack magic. Can we get that blue eyes? Still like what? I mean, it's still like $30,000 in a 10, 25K, 30K. I don't know what it is. I haven't seen one sell in a while, but okay. Retro, Retro's going again. Okay. He's like, I literally can't miss. Why would I stop? Let's see if he can physically miss. Let's figure it out. One of my packs came as Triron Dragon, but they actually threw it away. Ouch. Well, that's kind of a full circle for you. One, two, three, four. Here we go. Second LOB pack. We got Missouri Zame, Yame. Who's excited about that? I am. You love it. You love it. Woody Phantom. Oh, come on. <sighs> LOB, try run on the first pack. We have Kagamusha, Hard Armor, Kumutoko, Forest, Skull Servant. Oh, and a two pronged attack. He's officially missed. Finally. Would you go seven for eight or six for seven? Honestly, not bad cards in there. Retro Baloney went six for seven. Impressive. Very impressive. That's going to be hard to beat that ratio. That's amazing. Pack number three, Legend of Blue Eyes, guys. Legend of Blue Eyes White Dragon, first edition. No supers, no ultras. Some of the supers are really expensive and 10. So if you get a super, uh, like Polly, I think it's like a thousand. If you get a 10, something like that, maybe 800. Yeah, this would be a great, great for the Blue Eyes. One, two, three, four. Here we go. Pack number three from Legend of Blue Eyes. Machine Conversion Factory. We have Flame Manipulator. Frenzied Panda. 
Silver Fang. Very nice. Green Phantom King. He tots at me giants. Follow in. Silver Bow and Arrow. Oh, and a right leg of the Forbidden One. Ultra rare. Pretty nice, actually. For I mean, what you got it for? That's pretty nice pull. Right leg of the Forbidden One. Ultra rare. All right, all right. Not bad, not bad. We'll take it. Ultra and secret already. So we're pulling fire out of LOB right off the bat. Right leg of the Forbidden One. A little off-centered. Could maybe sneak in and get a 10, but probably going to get a 9. All right, Retro. Let's see if we can get you. Pack number four. I haven't gotten a super yet. One, two, three, four. We have Raised Body Heat, Ray and Tipatuda, Vile Germs, Fire Yaru. We have Lesser Dragon, Masaki the Legendary Swordsman, and Warrior number one, Mountain, and Dragonus the Wicked Knight. Okay, not Pot of Greed. That's probably the rare we want. Still, though, all the rares from LOB, no matter what they are, if you grade them, are worth a little bit. Like at least like a hundred bucks usually. Sometimes they're like worth a lot, like Pot of Greed, which is like, last I checked, hundreds, like crazy good. Off to Neverland. Let's see if we can get Legend of Blue Eyes. Blue Eyes by Dragon, first edition. One, two, three, four. We have Succubus Knight, Tyone, not number two. Enchanted Mermaid, Maneater. We have Legendary Sword, Dark King of the Abyss, Fiend Reflection, number two. Spike Seedra. And a carbon olive warrior. It's always scary to see the fusion because it's either flame swordsman or it's a uh, rare. <laughs> so it's like, ah, uh, unfortunately, just a rare on that one. It was not the flame swordsman. I would love to pull that. That's a really good one. Five packs in. We've got two foils. We've slowed down after the hot start. Let's go to pack number, what, six? Are we on pack six? Yeah, pack number six. Okay. One quarter of the way through the box. <sighs> one, two, three, four. Come on, guys. Send some luck in the comments of both Whatnot and YouTube. We have Yame. We have Woody Phantom. Kagamusha of the Blue Flame, Beast Fangs, Hard Armor, Kumu Toko. We have Forest, Skull Servant, oh, the Cursed Fusion, Flame Ghost. I mean, I will say, Skull Servant, great common. A lot of these commons, though, like it doesn't matter what it is, like Forest, Kumu Toko. If you buy one of these packs, you're gonna wanna probably grade these cards if they're centered. Um, so even if you don't pull a foil, you can get value back by grading these comments because a lot of them are worth 50 bucks, 100 bucks. Um, the Skull Servant's probably a really good one if you do that. So make sure that, you, yeah, the short prints, especially like field spells and stuff. So you want to make sure you do that if you buy one of these. Check and see if they're centered. Send them off for, you know, the $15 rate or whatever. And you should be able to get some of your money back doing that too. These are great deals on these packs. I personally paid way more when I bought my LV packs. So I will say that. Here we go. We have Missouri Zame. We have Yame. I love that. I love that combo. Witty Phantom, Dark Energy, Turtle Tigre, Hard Armor. We have Kumu Toko. Come on, guys. Forest. Let's get something crazy. Come on. Dragon Capture Jar. We're capturing those dragons. Ah, oh, I thought not saying anything would give you the luck, Jarvis. I thought if I didn't bring it up. Okay, here we go. No supers have been pulled. Not a single super. Retro, buy me a pack. <laughs> buy me a pack, Retro. One, two, three, four. Here we go. Flame Manipulator. Oh, come on. What is this? Pack number eight? Okay. Frenzied Panda. This is big. This is scary. Silver Fang. That's a really good common right there. Electro Whip. Solid. Green Phantom King. Tatsumi Giant. Another decent one. Played in the first episode of the, of the anime. Very cool. Lesser. Lesser. Laser Cannon Armor. Is, this it? is it next? It might be next. Wait. I think it's next. Here we go. Oh. Wait, that's a, that's a common. Wait, 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 it's next. There's the fusion we won. Flame Swordsman, let's go! That is, Retro, of course, gets it. Retro, you are insane, dude. This is a huge card. Hopefully PSA will treat it a little bit better than they treated mine. Just gonna throw that out there. <laughs> Flame Swordsman, that is so sweet. Wow. Hey, Michael, you're up next. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Here we go. Kagamusha, we got Flame Manipulator, Frenzied Panda, Silver Fang, Skull Servant. That's a good one. Very good common. Green Phantom King. We have Hitatsumi Giant. Power of Kaishin and Pot of Greed. Ooh, a Celtic Guardian. 
Okay, there was a foil in that pack. Okay, Celtic Guardian. That's a good one. Celtic Guardian, super rare. So two supers now. That's pretty good. Wow. Okay, another sweet pull. Is that back to back foils now? That and Flame Swordsman back to back. That's pretty good. Blue Eyes White Dragon right here. One, two, three, four. We have Dissolve Rock, Wasteland, Larvis, Basic Insect. It's a classic Basic Insect. Not as good as Picanio Moth, though. He you know Tama. We got Armored Starfish, Metabat, Sandstone, and. Ooh, Spirit of the Harp. Okay. I remember last time I sold this, it was a $200 rare. I don't know if it held up with that or not, or not, but still pretty decent. I mean, obviously not the money back by itself, but maybe with the other commons, it could be. Blue Eyes is. No, it is not guaranteed. No. One, two, three, four. We have Sogan. Mystical Sheep number two. Tripwire Beast. We got Skull Red Bird, Red Medicine. Skull Red Bird's nice. Karama, Terra the Terrible, and Dark Gray. One more. Don't worry, guys. One more. Dark Fire Dragon. The cursed pack was not the blue eyes. Still Dark Fire Dragon. It's. I mean, yeah, it's not great, but it is. Uh, it's in a. It's in Goat Side decks, so it's like been used before. Okay, last pack on the right. Four foils have been pulled so far. Let's see if we can. Is this pack number twelve? See if we can continue it. Here we go. Electro Whip, first edition, Legend of Blue Eyes. King Fog, the King of the Fog. Beavoy. Petite Dragon. Petite Angel. Furious Seeking. One-Eyed Shield Dragon. Umi, that's a pretty nice card. Blackwing, thanks for the $1. Will it be the Blue Eyes? Come on. Oh, a Reaper of the Cards. That's a classic anime card. I bet that's a pretty nice PSA one. I, what was what the price on a Reaper of the Cards PSA 10? That's got to be decent because that's like straight out of the anime. And one of the only effect cards in LLB. All right, we're halfway through, guys. We're halfway through. It's pack 13 time. Legend Blue Eyes White Dragon. Pack number thir 13. Here we go. Voice is going away, but we are powering through it. That's what we do. We have Sogan. That's a really nice card. Mystical Sheep number two. I love the green on those magic cards. Tripwire Beast. Skull Red Bird. I remember Tripwire Beast, actually, I think was the first or the last card I got for my LOB set, or it was maybe common set. I don't remember when I collected it, like 2018. Uh, Skull Red Bird. We have Kurama. Terror the Terrible. Come on, let's get some. Dark Ray. It's, it's, we know it's going to be some. It's retro. He's going to get something crazy. Okay, Turtle Tigre. All right, here we go. Final, final card for retro. Oh, he did get something. Pot of Greed is a really good rare. That's good. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get that one sleeved in top loader because that's actually centered and everything. That looks pretty good. Top might have a little edge issue a little bit, but not really. Send us some luck in the chat, in the comments. If you're watching this on YouTube, here we go. My stomach is grumbling like crazy right now. What if it grumbles? Like, or it's like it's it's making a blue eye sound. <laughs> that makes no sense. All right, Rewater. <laughs> Let's just move on. Drooling Lazard. He's hungry too. Sparks. In Warrior number two, Hino Tomasol, Armail, 13th Grave, Yurabi, and we have. Why did I think that was something? Arm Ninja. Arm Ninja. Shh. I'm not a foil. That's what he's saying. Okay, Arm Ninja. That's retro. That's the first like miss you've had, like ever. Every other time it's been something crazy. Arm Ninja's still not like horrible, but obviously Pot of Greed's way better. Guys, we are still looking for that blue eyes white dragon. King Fog. Beaver Warrior. Petite Dragon. We got Root Water. The Furious Sea King. Root Water and Furious Sea King have to be related. Like, seriously. They look so similar. One Eyed Shield Dragon. We got Umi. Speaking of water. Okay, wait. One more card, maybe. Okay, Hinotama Soul. Is this the Ultra we've been looking for? Blue Eyes, Red Eyes, Dark Magician. Come on. Hane Hane, a classic. Some people say Hane Hane. How do you guys say this? Hane 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 Hane. Let me know in the comments in the chat, whatever it is. But I say Hane Hane. I've always said Hane Hane as a kid. I don't know. That was what I said. But okay. But yeah, it's a, it's a classic card. I mean, it's, it was actually pretty good back then when you could flip and bounce something back. One, two, three, four. Our first trial of hell. That's a nice common. Already a great pack. Dissolve Rock. Wasteland. That's a good as well because it's one of the field spell cards. Larvis. Two Mouth Dark Ruler. Hinotama. Armored Starfish. Metabat. And. Ooh, a Raigeki. Centering is a little bit pushed that way. It's not great, but that's a pretty good pack. 
Cody. Congrats on that right. Right. This is a good box, guys. This is a good box. Getting a Raigeki is super nice. Yeah, that Raigeki is one of the best ultra or supers, I should say. One, two, three, four. I believe it's the 16th pack. Drooling Lazard. Will this be the ultra? Sparks. And warrior number two. Another trial of health. That's nice. Armail. 13th grave. We got your Robbie. Is it next? No, it's one more. Two Mount Dark Ruler. Hey, twin headed fire dragon, anybody? <laughs> okay, and finally. Or Thunder Dragon, sorry. Oh, I'm nervous. We're getting so close. Oh, stop defense. It was a rare that wasn't a fusion. Okay, okay. Man, this is really building up to this last ultra. All right, you're up next, Grail. Everybody send him some luck, because I'd feel bad if he it's a bad pack. Let's at least get a decent pack here. I mean, what are we at? Three supers, one ultra, one secret. So we could still get another super too, or even like that extra ultra. So even if he doesn't get that, there's something good. Basic Insect. We have Rain Tipitula. Book of Secret Arts. Book of Secret Arts, that's actually a really good. I think that might be a $300 card, PSA 10. So that's really good. Fire Yaru, so that's at least something. Sandstem, Lesser Dragon, Masaki, that's a part of the Flame Swordsman. I think we have one more card. And Warrior number one with that uh, common error. And finally, 320, PSA 10 for Book of Secret Arts. That's really good. And, Oh, Goblin Secret Remedy. So it is not it is not as good as the other pack, but you at least got a really good common in there. So there's that. There is that. Ah, this does still feel bad. I'm sorry for you, Gail. The chances are going up for that ultra. True. Chances just keep going up every pack. Maybe this is the one. <sighs> Legend of Blue Eyes. Come on, Blue Eyes. Tyone. Enchanted Mermaid. Man Eater, not the bug. I mean, that would be interesting if we pulled a bug here. We have a move trap, Mystical Moon. I recently pulled one myself. Dark King of the Abyss. Fiend Reflection, Numero Dos. We got a Spike Cedra. And Fissure. Okay, first time seeing the Fissure. Every time I see this, I'm like, it could be Pot of Greed, which is nice. Fissure is probably okay, because that's a pretty classic card, but okay. All right. Five packs left. Five packs left for an Ultra, guys. This is, oh my gosh. How is this happening? We started off with two like high rarity cards and we haven't pulled one since it's a high chance at a foil right now if it's a if there's seven foils in this box it's a super or an ultra potentially or even double ultras would be crazy two ultras i'm gonna lose my mind seal of grotto let's go guys send the luck in the chat monster egg numeruko sucking on the thumb sogan mammoth graveyard fire grass dark world thorns red medicine and It's a left arm of the Forbidden One. So it is a foil and an ultra. Grail, congrats. I'm glad you got something. It wasn't the blue eyes, but it is still a pretty centered left arm, actually. Congrats. That's a good That's a good pack, man. That's a super solid pack. Left arm, ultra rare. Looks pretty centered. Maybe you could get a 10 on it. Maybe a three ultra box. It is possible. It is possible. However unlikely, it is possible. I feel good for Grail now. I feel better. I feel... I feel sad i felt sad for him but now i feel much happier for him here we go dark hole would be good there's so many good ones poly is a big one in terms of like uh money too in terms of like the value so that would be a good one to pull because it's iconic and that one two three four if we pull the next foil okay we have mystical sheep number two we have tripwire beast let's go skull red bird let's get some good comments was there a zame? is there gonna be a yame oh, karama we have terror the terrible dark gray Tortigre and Aquamador. First Aquamador. Okay, Aquamador. All right, I haven't seen you yet. I guess that's cool. We're also looking for Pot of Greeds. That would be really good. Very exciting. LOB first dead opening. You don't get to do this every day. Thanks for everybody watching too. It's been fun. It's been super fun. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Michael, let's get you something crazy. Succubus Knight. That's pretty crazy. Tyone. Got an Enchanting Mermaid. Maneater. Mountain. Violet Crystal, Dark King of the Abyss. We got Fiend Reflection number two, and here we go. Ooh, Giant Soldier of Stone. That's a pretty classic one. That's a pretty cool card. I mean, while it's not obviously Pot of Greed or something like, or actual foil or anything, but for a rare, that's one of the better rares, I will say. Second to last pack, everybody. Can we get another foil? Make it a third ultra, please. That'd be so cool. Or a second secret. I've never actually done that, so. Or at least not. I've done a 25th anniversary. It doesn't count. Move trap. We have Steel of Grotto number one. Monster Egg. Nibiruko. Second on the thumb. We got Graveyard. Mammoth Graveyard's a good one. Firegrass. Dark World Thorns. 
Red Medicine, and... Oh, Curse of Dragon! There it is, that's the seventh foil. That's amazing. Off-centered a little bit, but that is a beautiful card. What very solid box. I mean, the Ultras are, you know, they're Exodia limbs, so they're not like as exciting as some of the others, but the Supers are good. We got a secret. I mean, six foils out of, or seven foils out of LOB. You don't get that every time. Like, that's just really nice. I didn't get a secret in my original LOB opening. Nice pickup. Okay, we have one last pack. It will be kept sealed, guys. So you guys will get to keep this one sealed. Wow, LOB. How exciting was that, guys? Let me know in the chat right now, or if you're watching on YouTube or whatever it is. That was fun. That was so much fun. Shout out to Tone Fo Show, Daxter, Puffins of Doom, Ernesto Deanna, America Deutster, Leo Gwine, 62, Brad KK Beats, Ananda Taisho, Ian Musa, Junior Barding, Robert F., Thomas McLean, Changalang, and Joey Castle. Thank you guys for supporting the channel. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.